Okay, this lesson is for Math 8. You are taking the video notes, and we're going to continue working in class tomorrow, but you must have these notes. Watch this video and take these notes so you're prepared. Um, you're learning about the different types of solutions when we're working with systems of equations. When you have two or more equations, there can be three different types of solutions that you might encounter. A one solution, to where that's the majority of your equations are going to have one solution, one ordered pair that works in both. But then you're going to run into a couple times to where you have no solution. There's, they don't cross paths, so there's no common order, there's not an ordered pair that will work for both. And then you're going to have some called infinite solutions, or infinitely many solutions. You probably remember that from our equation unit. But it looks as if there's only one line graphed. And think about why that would be, and infinitely many would mean that there's many ordered pairs, there's infinitely many ordered pairs that will work in both equations. So we're going to take a moment to look at both equations and see if you can tell just by the equation alone if it's going to be a one solution, a no solution, or infinitely many solutions. So we want to look at this first one, this one solution. Notice these two are already in slope-intercept form. And so if they're in slope-intercept form, what you want to do is you notice that the slope, watch the slope, so if the lines have different slopes, there's only one point of intersection. If the slopes are different, it doesn't matter what the y-intercepts are, but if the slopes are different, they're going to cross. Okay. Then look at the no solution. What do you notice? First of all, they never cross. So in order to do that, they're having the rise or the run the exact same rate. Their y-intercepts are different here, but look at their slopes. So you have a y equals negative x and a y equals negative x minus 2. Your slope is what in each of those? Is a negative 1. So the slopes, they have the same slope, but notice they have to have a different y-intercept. So they need a different y-intercepts. If that happens, they have no common points of intersection. So no points of intersection which it means it's a no solution. So if that happens, your answer is no solution. Then our last one, you notice these equations. Now this one is written in slope-intercept form, but this one is not. So we need to change that to slope-intercept form. So again, in slope-intercept form, your goal is to get the y by itself. So look at your equation. I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to switch the negative 2y and the negative 4. So I'm going to add 2y this way. And then I'm going to add 4. So we have 2y minus 4 equals 4x. But if you add 4 over here, I'm going to bring it over here, 2y equals 4x plus 4. The y is not by itself, so divide every term by 2, and you have 2x plus 2. Now what do you notice between those two equations? This is the first one. This is the second one. And look, they're exactly the same, the same slope and the same y-intercept. This is why it looks like it's the same, just only one line is graphed. Because there are two equations graphed, they're the exact same slope, so they have the same slope, same y-intercept. Now they're not going to flat out show you that at the beginning, so there's going to be some problems that you're going to have to switch around from uh, standard format to slope-intercept format to see and see if you can figure out if it's the same slope and same y-intercept. Now if that happens, if you have the same slope, same y-intercept, you have many points of intersection. What's the answer? It would be infinite solutions or infinitely many solutions. I'm sure Ms. Bergener and I will both consider the IMS. So down here, let's look at these equations. So what you're going to be doing is, let's look at these. We can go ahead and graph them and then determine if it's a one solution, no solution, or infinitely many solutions. So right here, this is already in slope-intercept form. This one is not. So we need to go ahead and kind of move this one around, switch it around to where you get y by itself. And so if we add 9y, we have 9y plus 9 equals 3x. So I'm going to move, and you can do this in all one line also. You can subtract this 9 at the same time. So you have 9y equals 3x minus 9. Now be careful here. When you divide by 9, this is where some of you guys are going to make mistakes, you need to make sure that you divide 3 divided by 9, not 9 divided by 3. 
So your final answer here is going to be y equals 1 third x minus 1. It's hard to see. So 1 third x minus 1. So now, if you want to go ahead and graph it, notice what happens. It's a negative 1. It's your y-intercept, 1 third. It's your slope, up 1 over 3, down 1 to the left 3. Graph your line using your note card. And this one is 1 third x, so it's going to the origin. Up 1 over 3, down 1 over 3. You notice that just from the equation, notice you're supposed to look like parallel lines. So if they're parallel lines, the same, this is the same slope, different y-intercepts. So this is a no solution. That is your solution. Don't, don't write NA, don't write you know, zero. Your answer is a no solution. There's no, no ordered pairs that work in both. Okay. So checking this one out, you have the y equals 2x minus 3. That's already in slope intercept form. This one's not. This one you can do a couple things. You can go ahead and move things around first you, and then divide. Or notice you can simplify each of these numbers if you divide each of these by 2 first. So it's up to you on how you want to do it in getting it down to simplest form, but you still need to get the y by itself. You need the x and y on the opposite sides of the equal sign. And this was a little tight in the room. Sorry about that. Divide each term by 2. So you end up with y equals 2x minus 3. Okay, so this is our second equation, y equals 2x minus 3. Our first equation was y, x, y equals 2x minus 3. Same exact equation. But right away, you can't tell that by just looking at the way they're written. So that, that's going to be infinitely many or infinite solutions, either one. Infinitely many solutions or infinitely infinite solutions. Okay, so now looking at both of these, these are both in slope-intercept form. And what you want to do, if it's already in slope-intercept form, just compare the slope. And you have a negative 1 and a negative 1 half. Well, those are different. You have different slopes, so that's going to be one solution. There's going to be only one ordered pair that works. And you can graph both of these to prove it, but there's only going to be one ordered pair. So that's what we're going to work on tomorrow. So thank you for watching, and make sure that you have these notes with you when you come to class tomorrow.